Maybe a live chicken. Hey, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> Maybe a live chicken on the broadcast wasn't We a good got a idea. live chicken in the broadcast, and I'm really hoping that that thing poops on Mercedes. <laughs> she insisted on having a live baby chicken. Our house is filled with about 17 baby chickens. All we hear is chirping all night. They're yeah. getting to that age where they're starting to fly out. So we're running around the house, catching them and cleaning poop off the floor. But this is what makes my wife happy. Um, we wanted to, um, we wanted to, since we started, we've never really talked about our memberships ever. Um, those of you who have followed us for many, many years, um, you know our story, but we kind of wanted to just go over it real quick. And how did we get to Camp Gratitude and how did these memberships come into being? And as you remember, Mercedes and I lived in Florida and Mercedes was divorcing me. <laughs> That's what a great way to start it. <laughs> we decided to sell all of our stuff, hit the road RVing and try to save our marriage. And we did, we did exactly that. Um, she gave me one more shot. We hit the road. We started a YouTube channel and it exploded. The first 18 months, we were the hottest thing in the RV space. Our, <laughs> our channel just absolutely exploded. Um, and, uh, and, 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 and we started to build a community of like-minded RV Odd Squad members. Um, and, and, and we loved it. We felt so blessed and we became really successful. And we got to a point where we needed to decide if we, what we were going to do with our channel. And we attribute our daughter's healing to the RV Odd Squad. As you guys, I'm not going to dive in deep into the story, but we believe that God and this community healed our daughter and our daughter's doing amazingly well now. And, um, and then, of course, the craziness of the last couple of years and other full-time RVers having nowhere to go when campgrounds were being shut down all over the country. So I started praying for discernment in the middle of all this, and um, Camp Gratitude happened. Thunder Canyon popped onto the radar, and not only did I feel a responsibility to protect my family from the crazy world we're living in, but I felt a responsibility to leverage our success for the community instead of just ourselves. But and but there's something else that was happening in the background. You see, our YouTube channel was taken off and it was, it something happened. We had a Palooza in Florida in the year of the craziness. And when we got to meet our people, we made a decision that we weren't going to try to be the biggest channel out there, but we were going to try to be the one with the best community because we got to actually meet our people and that literally it changed us, right? So when John's looking at this property and, and saying, okay, it's not just a place for me to go if things go bad and my family to go if things go bad, but for all of us to go if things go bad, we had also been toying around with the idea of a membership. And so we had been working on this for like a year and trying to think to ourselves, like, what is something that collectively as a group we can do? Because with all the RVers getting displaced, it was really clear to us that RVers really didn't have a substantial voice. And then you top that off with the fact that like, you know, you have these ginormous corporations that basically are trying to take the RVer from cradle to grave. You know, they sell you the RV and then they help you sell it when you're done with it. And, and they try to get you through like the whole life cycle, but the whole freedom, independence and adventure of the actual RVing and why you're doing it in the first place. Right. It's, it's like all lost because it's all like Wall Street is all involved in, in the RVing industry. And it's all a bunch of garbage from China. Mm -hmm. And we found more and more the as we traveled are... around the country that these um, beautiful old campgrounds were being turned into monetized parking lots. Yeah, exactly. And, and then we found Thunder Canyon Camp Gratitude. We call it Camp Gratitude. Um, and th everything changed really, really, really fast. That's what happens when you give your life and will to something bigger than yourself. And that's yeah. what happened to us. So we decided to um, put this offering out to the RV Odd Squad and figure out who had been supporting us, which we figured out. We had 26 families come in and join us and actually purchase Thunder Canyon. Um, two, two families purchased Thunder Canyon and 26 families started Thunder Canyon Campground. And we've got it back up running to where it is now. The growth that we've had at this campground in the past year is absolutely phenomenal. Um, everyone who comes here is extending their stay about 60% extend their stay. Yeah. The community that we're building is amazing. Fall in Eider, Alabama is amazing. And it's just guys, what most people are saying to us is that coming to camp gratitude is like going back in time, 60 or 70 years when America was proud and, and, and believed in God, family and country. No, but that's the thing is that it's kind of like a longing of yesteryear, both in the RV industry and just in society in general. Yes. That, you know, the times where like, you know, you would drive by someone and you'd wave at them. 
And uh, little things like uh, somebody sneezed at the grocery store and there was a symphony of God bless you. God bless you. Yeah. Afterwards, just just simple things like manners and stuff like that, that the small town provides. And Mm -hmm. I think as far as like this, this is a a, not a a, a, what is it called when you mix everything together? I don't know. Um, Amal Amalga. If you know it in the Amalgus. No, Amalgamation. Amalgamation. No, it's something like a com- a combination of mm-hmm. all these things that we've been looking for and searching for, and and really wanting more of. And our goal here is to be about what we're for, not about what we're against. Right. And think about guys. We're eight hundred plus strong now. We yeah. have at, we've got <laughs> we've been blessed. Yeah. Eight hundred members have helped us grow this campground in this community, the RV Odd Squad. Our goal is to hit one thousand by the end of twenty twenty two. So we need a couple hundred more yeah. members. We're going to talk a little bit about that membership today. For those of you who don't know how it works or have questions, we'll be answering some of those questions for you guys. And so if we get to a thousand today, can I get more chickens? If we get to a thousand today, Mercedes can have a hundred more chickens. Okay. Oh my God, Quick, guys! Right RV now, she, slash join. Now she. <laughs> Our guys slash join. That's all I'm going to so say. So I'm going to share a screen with you guys right here, and this is what we built. We put in a we put in a bid on Thunder Canyon. Um, we locked it up. They had actually um, listed Thunder Canyon as raw land, not as a campground, and I found it. And I jumped on it. And the more I dug into it, I was blown away that this used to be an active campground for the Boy Scouts, for the um, for a church that used to be here. And a lot of wonderful things used to happen here. Um, we wrote Miss Kitty a letter and we told her what our intention was for Thunder Canyon Camp Gratitude. And Mrs. Kitty fell in love with Mercedes. She loved her. Even after we closed this property, Miss, uh, Miss Kitty used to come down, spent Christmas with us. I spent Thanksgiving with us and then Miss Kitty passed away almost like she was here long enough to make sure that the property was secured by a loving family who was going to watch out for it Well, and carry on her vision and carry on her is. vision of she spent 60 years she raised all of her children here and yeah. it's an absolutely gorgeous place one of the things a lot of people say about Thunder Canyon is it's like a state or a national park mm-hmm. how the heck did you guys get this um, and so today we're going to talk a little bit of our, about our memberships. So let's see if I can do While this. While you do that, I'm going to put Dottie back real quick. So hopefully this is signed. So this is what we did. We launched the RV Odd Squad membership. <laughs> and guys, we don't know how to do any of this stuff. We just had members help us. The right people showed up at the right time to complete his will. That's how we did this stuff. Well, because what we noticed was that together we have more buying power. And what we noticed was we wanted a community, like an actual community, not something online where they're tracking like where you're staying and following you, but something where it's like people get to meet each other. And then perks as far as like, Because you have more buying power when it's like 100 people buying something versus when it's just one person. Right. And you can leverage discounts. Yeah. And we're getting better and better at growing all the benefits benefits within the community itself. And so we're just going to go roughly over what these are. You can go to rvodsquad.com backslash join to check this out, which is right up here. We'll put that in the comments section. It'll explain all the different types of memberships that we do. We start with the Freedom Park Pass. What this means is it's, it's ninety seven dollars per year. Good job. He always says it's ninety nine. It's ninety seven dollars a year, and what that does is it makes you a member of the RV Odd Squad and gives you access to Thunder Canyon Camp Gratitude as much camping as you as you want. And you also get access to our horrible podcast. Yes, guys, <laughs> we have a podcast, and it's horrendous at best. Mm-hmm. But um, only members get to see our our full unedited podcast. And um, I would call it quality entertainment, but I'm not a liar. So it's, yeah, we all, it's fun. We have fun. We also give you access to our private RV Odd Squad community. That means you would actually receive um, a login Yeah. right here where you'd be logging in and seeing all the benefits that you have depending on the membership that you purchase. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people actually start off at the park pass because yep. it's like dipping your toe in. It's for the year. You did, And then, then you come here to Thunder Canyon and we love everybody who has supported us. Um, but typically people will about, about 30, 35% will upgrade into the founders yeah. um, after they see the place, after they see the benefits. It's, it, it's, it's pretty cool what we put together. I can't believe we've been able to build this in such a short period of time and 
um, build this campground. Alive. And we're still alive. Yeah. God gives us everything we need. The next one is called the Independence or the Nomad. This one's 297. Again, you can go to rvodsquad.com backslash join. Check this out, all the benefits that are in there. Um, all of these give you access to 20, $29 amount telehealth um, and televet. Yeah. Okay, guys. So um, you have access to that at a huge discounted rate. Mm -hmm. um, if you come in as a founder. Well, no, you missed one big thing with the Nomad. Okay, go ahead. The Nomad. Okay, so we talked about buying power. So we have a couple of key relationships with companies that have really good, awesome pro quality products for our viewers. None of this you know, stuff that'll break in three days and then you wasted your money. We don't talk so, about Cardi products. So we have these awesome relationships. Well, at the Nomad level, we um, sell them at our store for wholesale pricing. Mm -hmm. And the reason that wholesale pricing is such a big deal is because um, sometimes you'd be shocked at some of the markup and we're not trying to see, we're not trying to make money like selling the product. We're passing the savings on because you become a member. So kind of like a, our a Costco of RV. Well, yeah. And we had affiliate relationships with all these great companies. You know, we mm -hmm. figured out which were the best products before we would ever suggest them to you. Yep. And by buying Thunder Canyon, the same companies awarded us distributorships, exactly. which meant we had wholesale access to wholesale pricing. And once you get access into that private portal, where those um, where those products are listed, you'll save m more money than you spend to come it into the membership. Pays for the membership. It pays for itself. And then for the real gluttons for punishment, <laughs> we have the founders. These are the these are our heartfelt are people. Our people. We got about we've got more than a couple hundred of these now. Yeah. These are the people that none of this would have been possible without. Most of these people, um, some of these people became owners. Yeah. Um, when we see new things, we're actually considering selling. The dog was uh, the dog was itching himself. <laughs> We're actually considering selling uh, Thunder Canyon is about two hundred and twenty six acres. Well, and no, no, we can't say that because founders always find out things first. Founders always find out stuff first, and yeah. we let them know that's the people that have made it possible. Mercedes and I, we could have we could have done a bunch of sponsorships with a bunch of companies and continuing making money on YouTube. We decided yeah. to leverage our success and share it with the people that. That yes. built us up, that put us here. And we'll never, ever, 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 ever share about an RV park on YouTube until it's done instead of what we did the first time, which was sharing about it before it was completed. And what we learned is that founders are the only ones that are going to know what we're thinking and where we're going. Yeah. So our founders know everything what we're doing. We'll never again publicly say we found a park or we're selling or land or lots. we're doing any yeah. of that. Our founders are the people that support us and make this channel stay alive. Because interesting enough, since the since we found Thunder Canyon Camp Gratitude, our 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 growth has slowed because we talk about God, family, and country. Yeah. Um, and we're not our being as much anymore. There's certainly something to say about that. But um, the community that we've built and the quality relationships with the people that we have, I'm good with it. It's incredible. I'm good with it. Like I I love. I would take the people over the like. Um, vanity metrics because because mm. having a lot of subscribers is like a vanity metric it it's like but when you when you have um relationships with people that's something more substantial right you know right so um what are you doing sweetheart i'm trying to get back i'm going to remove this there you go yay and then hey uh, guys do we need another i want to add one more thing because we're going to talk about thunder canyon for a second and the rules of thunder canyon but first we need another chicken. let me eat another chicken let's see who am i going to grab all right, I'm going to grab this one over here. This, everyone, is our jumper. <laughs> and this naughty little chicken is very good at jumping. So for those of you who don't know, um, it was never a plan, but Mercedes and I are going to homestead here at Thunder Canyon. Um, we'll be here for, for a while um, so that we can build Thunder Canyon up, and, 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 and we'll see where that goes. That Most of our videos coming for 2023 are going to be homesteading videos and us building our land don't and becoming completely self-sufficient. We've, we've bought cattle we bought too many darn chickens and we continue to do it this way let me see if i can present one more thing about thunder canyon sorry guys Chrome that's probably tab. i'm probably being a Here little a little mischievous so this is thunder canyon and this is also a way for you to join to become a member of thunder canyon thunder canyon is a private campground only you guys and, and let's talk about why let me finish my thought because you keep tripping me up and i'm trying to get smooth here okay so Thunder Canyon is a private membership park. You cannot come and visit Thunder Canyon without a reservation. We have people still coming here that sit up at the gate and push the button. I want to come look. We don't have time. 
Thunder Canyon does not, uh, uh, Thunder Canyon Camp Gratitude and the membership, uh, Thunder Canyon is run by RB Odd Squad members, even Park Pass members, $99 members. They help us run the day-to-day logistics. It's we, run, owned, and operated by members. We don't have employees. If you're a member, you're going to help us run this place. You're going to check people in. Of course, you need some training on that. Well, no, yeah, yeah. Let's let's clarify. Only certain people are allowed to do that. Yeah. The <laughs> ones that hang around here a lot start learning all the systems. We allow people to use the kitchen. We allow people to do cert call and have their own events here. Last night, we watched a football game we made some chili we hung out and, and, and you know at fellowship hall and did that but thunder can't it thund- you have to be a member to come here not only do you have to be a member you have to be a member to make a reservation by becoming a member you will save 25 percent on everything we do here at thunder canyon yep. and what that's going to do is when you hit the join button it's going to bring you right back it's going to bring you right back it didn't work Okay. So let's just go here. All right. So um, a couple things about why we're not open to the public. And I'm just going to lay it out there. And this might not be the the best way to, this might be crass, but it's real. Okay. So we're not open to the public. Um, and we have a gate up front because this is not intended to be a place that everyone can just drive through. Um, there's some safety considerations, you know, we have people on YouTube that really care for us deeply, but we have also people that are just, that, that, that watch all of our videos and insult us. us on all of them. Right. They probably, just the world we live in guys, they probably pay better attention to what we say than like you right now watching who, who thinks of us kindly because they're looking for us to mess up so bad that they watch all of our stuff, say mean comments on all of us. It's like I've never watched a show and kept watching it if I didn't like it, but it's, they do. It's the world we live in, guys. Just go below any of our videos. Go through the comments. You're always going to see probably one or two out of 10 or 20 that are just nasty. And these people literally watch us to hate us. So there is a security concern. Yes. We, unlike other YouTubers, let people know we're here. And that's probably not the smart idea. It's not the smartest <laughs> idea in the world, but that's where God has placed us right now. Yeah. And so our job, we feel, is to grow the membership, um, to become, you know... Um, Man, can you imagine what we can do when our numbers get big enough? We yeah. can really affect change in this country, you know, in, in the RV space. Yep. And so that's what we're trying to do. Somebody yeah. asked the question, how much is a founder membership? It's $497, guys. Yeah. But we actually give you telehealth with the $497. We pay for one full year. We Which give you $29 a month that pays for itself. We give you yeah. televet. You have access to the private, um, which we're expanding all the products. We're actually expanding into more products right now. We're getting a little bit more help. Um, and uh, and then one of the biggest things about our founders, when you come to visit Thunder Canyon Camp Gratitude, um, we, Mercedes and I, or one of us or all of us, including Sage, will give you a tour if you're a founder. It's about 45 minutes to an hour. We give you a ride around the 200 acres here at Thunder Canyon. We show you the most beautiful spots because there's miles and miles of trails here, guys. Mercedes also said that we can't let people in for safety issues. Once you become a member, you're going to have to sign a waiver yeah. that if you come in here, you know, it's dumb to put a chainsaw in your mouth and you're responsible yeah. for yourself. It keeps our insurance prices way, way down. Yep. There is this 80 foot canyon or a gorge that runs along the whole side of Thunder Canyon. That's the beauty of Thunder Canyon, this gorgeous gorge. Well, there's a long drop down there. And so, you know, we want to make sure that everybody who becomes a member signs the proper stuff and then you're welcome to come in. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you that when you come to Thunder Canyon, you're going to feel like you were camping back in the 1940s, 50s, it's, and 60s it's again, crazy. guys. It's Everybody crazy. is friendly. People that are coming into this park are staying in touch with each other. New romances of people in their 60s and 70s are we starting should, to happen here no, at Thunder we Canyon. Should start, we should start a dating thing. Because, <laughs> like, I have noticed a couple sparks flying between some of the single RV Odd Squad members. Yeah. And I'm, I'm not going to – I'm just thinking we should do a matchmaking thing. <laughs> like, that's what we should do. We should do a, a Valentine's Day matchmaking thing where we have, like, a dating game. And we, like I'm, – I'm not kidding you. It's kind of fun. Funny, but I've seen people kind of hit it off here. Something else about Thunder Canyon, guys. You can look at the rates here on thundercanyoncampground.com, yep. um, but you won't be able to get into the reservation system until you're a member. You will. Um, you well, w- no, there's a workaround as soon as you join. You get the temporary Yeah, the temporary ID. That works for half people and half the people it doesn't. And and the rest of them, just give us a call and we'll fix it. 
we've one of the things that we've uh we've learned in this in this whole endeavor is to really start to delegate and we're like a year and a half into this and i think we're just now starting to delegate well here's the thing guys is is we've been it's it hasn't been all um it hasn't been all rainbows and butterflies yeah when you start to grow a membership like this um yeah. you're going to find some really helpful people and some not so helpful people yeah and we've had some trouble trouble finding certain people that can help us to to delegate some of the authority and that you can trust that if you delegate it to them, they're going to handle it. it. And if they can't handle it, they'll let you know. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So everybody jumps in and says, I want to help. I want to help. But do they actually do what they say they're going to do? And 90% of them do, yeah. but we're looking for some key people. And we think after a year, we've got some key people that are really going to help us expand this membership, increase the benefits. So when you join as an RV odd squad member, you're going to get your money back. Plus hopefully triple what you pay to become a member and be proud to be part of the community. All right. I think we need to do a dance for, um, for February for, uh, for Valentine's day. We need to do a Valentine's day dance. Whatever you think. No, baby. look, I don't look know what you're comments, talking about because everyone's like, Ooh, matchmaking. We like this. <laughs> we have a lot of single people come in here. Um, and sometimes they're, they're widows, whatnot. Yeah. The RV odd yeah. squad is pretty much over 55 years old. Uh, so our, our, our community is a little bit in the older end. Yeah. We love our community, but these are people that remember the way used the United States used to be, yeah. you know, kind, considerate, have manners, wave to people. And be they're kind. not going to go to a bar to meet, meet someone. Be you know? helpful. Yeah. And I think that's what we notice most about Camp Gratitude and this whole thing we're doing here, this whole membership. We attract people who like to give. We attract givers, not takers. And yeah. everybody who comes in here, even though some of them are kind of strange because we're all crazy. We're Look all at us. Really crazy. We're all really crazy, but we all give. We give more than we take. And 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 so by being completely honest and not afraid to be who we are, will you stop getting that chicken out of my face? My God, these chickens, is crap all over the place, you guys. They're not, they're not pooping on yeah. me yet. I, I mean, I'm saying yet because I know- I'll If you guys could do us a favor and give a thumbs up to this video, it'll help YouTube. YouTube algorithm has not been very kind to us lately because we talk about things they don't really want to talk about. Yep. And the next thing I'm going to say is vote. Oh yeah, let me get another chicken for that. Oh, first. let's get a voting chicken. Let's get a let's go get a voting chicken. Should we get a voting chicken? Yeah. God. I need a chicken. Dirty dancing, yeah. It is kind of like that. Keep my life moving. RV. Yellow RV flew over the other day. <laughs> All right. What does that mean? Mark Irvin. This is a guy that's been with us for more than a year, and God the. God, he's helped us so much. We wouldn't be where we are without this guy. If you guys come to Thunder Canyon, you're all going to know who Mark is. This guy is called a Polish hen. He's a top head. Look at that hair. They're supposed mm -hmm. to be she's. I'm yes. Hoping, but that hair, they're going to look like a dust. And that head. chicken is being threatened with serious Marxism. So please get out and vote. <laughs> vote. So that the chickens can have a democracy. <laughs> we don't have a democracy, that's for sure. John, getting her done. Let's see. Kelly McCall. Let's let's look at some questions here. Okay, so Super John, getting her done. Has put a chainsaw in his mouth. Explains a few things. <laughs> Keep looking. No, you know what it is? It's like nowadays you see all these stickers on everything. In the state of California, this thing can be dangerous. Every product you can imagine. It's just insane. It's crazy. It's just common sense. You're signing away. You're, you're coming in and as a member of the RV Odd Squad, you're kind of an owner of it. You're going to help us manage it, but yeah. you're not going to sue us. Yeah. And that knocks our that knocks our insurance rates down about eighty thousand dollars a year, guys. These public campgrounds, you wouldn't believe what they pay in for insurance because of lawsuits that go on. Well, yeah. as soon as you become a member, you are not going to sue us. Yeah. <laughs> you're just a member. You're you're part of our family. It's crazy though, but we have to tell you to wear appropriate shoes when you're hiking down trails. Yeah. Like, why would you wear high heels down a trail? But we gotta say but we it. We gotta say wear yeah. appropriate shoes. We need to write and you need to sign if you see a cliff that's more than five feet please stay back three feet yeah, don't jump and if it. you go closer you are in risk of falling please sign here yeah, like it's like, just ridiculous like if you don't know about gravity by now i can't help you but we need to explain that gravity is a thing oh inside joke john okay so yeah i don't 700 <laughs> we'll vote on tuesday yes that's right tommy d Oh dear. Debbie, oh dear. cool hair. 
Let's see. Yeah, see this chicken. Oh, that's really it's called a top head. No, well, actually, it's called a Polish hen, but Sage calls them top heads, yeah. and so it kind of works. There's Dennis Salvati. Dennis Salvati here. He was at our very first Palooza. We do plan on having a Palooza at Thunder Canyon. Right now, we're getting ready for a huge Thanksgiving celebration. Grateful to God for all the blessings we have in our lives and in this country. It's not gone yet, you guys. That's why it's so important to vote. But if you can, come to Thunder Canyon for Thanksgiving. It's a few weeks away. Come on down. You know, become a member. Book a site. Come in for a few days. You know, we're going to do a big dinner out in Fellowship Hall. We're going to pray together. We're going to we're gonna hang together, and we're going to have a great time. So if you can, come on down. Yeah. Somebody also asked. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's so cool. She's so cool. Um, no, a- there is th- that is your membership fee. So the founder covers everything, and you get lots of benefit Sylvia oh but she's asking if it's yearly it's yeah it's yearly. a it's a yearly membership yes exactly and I, just so you guys know oh, there's Become Nan good morning Nan Nan is one of our main partners without Nan and Bill would this never ever would have happened guys we pray every day for guidance direction for the Lord to protect us but to also put the right people in our lives at the right time so we can accomplish his will Come we do Jamie. that prayer every single day and the first two we attracted was Bill and Nan Davies who yeah have been such a blessing to us. Mark, you know, I'm so many. Trina, who else? I mean, Paul, Viv, Trina, Patrick. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. We could not do this by ourselves. We're going to come and bring the Trump train with us. (laughs) Oh, God. (laughs) Okay, YouTube just killed our algorithm. Please give this video a thumbs up because YouTube's going to try to kill it. Yeah. So a lot of people really like the dance idea. Like, I think we're going to end up doing like a, 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 a love is in the air theme. And then we'll have a lot of old school, um, old school love songs and we'll have a DJ. Yeah. It'll be really cute. A lot of people can compare Thunder Canyon to dirty dancing a little bit. Yeah. The community, you know what I mean? It's like just. We have activities. It's really rustic here. And we have lots of activities, silly activities. Like we paint rocks. Well, you don't paint rocks. I don't paint rocks. I but, painted rocks for with sage for thank for uh for um for Halloween. Tommy D. Let's see what Tommy D has to say. Sort of a moha, but a mo chicken. Yeah. When <laughs> when the hair grows, it's literally gonna look like a feather duster. Hey. We are hey, good morning, all love, Bill and Regina. Hey, there's Bill and Regina. Question, Bill and Re- Bill has been amazing with helping us with electrical. The guy's probably putting a hundred hours here. He, he's gonna probably camp here for the rest of his life for free at this point. Hey guys, should I put the chicken on John's shoulder? Get the chicken out of my face. Guys, should I put the chicken on John's shoulder? No, you're shoulder? not gonna put the, the, the put chicken. Put it in the comments. If you want the chicken on John's shoulder. We're not getting the chicken on John's shoulder. Don't don't even don't even consider it, okay? okay. Watch. These chickens haven't pooped on me this whole time. And then I'll put it on their shoulder and he'll get pooped on. Although I want to hear cut like that chicken. It looks <laughs> like you play the guitar, Tommy. Maybe you can come up with a new intro song for us. That's hilarious. <laughs> All right. So um, so a couple other questions that a lot of people have about the membership. Um a lot of people ask, like, why do you have a membership? Well, A, we don't want to be open to the public at this time. And um, and B, you know, we want a membership that really stands for something. Um, another question that people ask is, um, you know, like, what else? Why why a membership? Um, and I think that uh, the, the membership escalates, right? So you have the park pass that gets you in the door and you're, you're kind of in the inside on a lot of things. Then you have the Nomad where you get the wholesale discounts. And then the Founders, it's kind of like the full, you get the telehealth, the televet, um, and all the discounts and everything that the other member members get. Um, but the thing about the members that that is kind of nice is that once you're here, there's a certain amount of safety because everyone that's here is a member. So you know that, uh, that I think there's like a pride. Not, I don't want to say pride of ownership, but there's kind of like a pride that – you know, we're something special happening here, guys. And people build, I think people build relationships more quickly here because the membership vets for itself, because like our haters aren't willing to spend $97. To here, get in th- here. This one will blow your mind. 35% of our audience does not RV and doesn't plan on RV. They don't even plan to come to Thunder Canyon. Although we do have two rental RVs, Mark's RV and our RV mm-hmm. that we rent out by the week. 
Um, but 35% of our audience just supports us because they love the message and what we're trying to do. And we're working on some things in the background to allow more products than just RV products in our private store, the wholesale, the wholesale yeah. portion of our membership. Yep. But our job and, and guys, we give a guarantee nobody else will, which is you get all your money back if you don't like our membership in the first 60 days. If you don't yeah. find it valuable, we'll give you a full refund. No questions asked. As a matter of fact, We've given five people their money back without them even requesting it because they weren't the type of people we want to be yeah. friends with, yeah. you know, and, and that's just, that's just the fact. Can you scroll down to the old new comments? Oh, new comments. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to new comments. Millie, you tell of it. We've used the, the telemedicine five times. We've used for Skippy two or three times. Yep. We haven't used it for the chickens yet, but we can if we want to. Televet and telemedicine, you guys, is amazing. You pick up your phone, you get a doctor right there. Um, they'll call in your prescriptions for you at the close. They'll even they'll even know where your phone is and get the closest place for you to pick up a prescription and call it in so for you. So if you're traveling as an RVer, just give them the zip code and they'll say, "Well, this is the closest pharmacy." Yeah. You know, oh, yeah. there was a question about. Uh, scroll back up. There was a question. Scroll up slowly. Yep. Um, oh, how long can people stay in each visit? So right as now, long as, oh yeah. Well, we have monthly rates now. We have monthly um, rates as low as six hundred dollars per month if you pay for three months. The that's quarterly. the long. That's the quarterly. That's twenty bucks a night. Yeah, if you just want to go month to month, it's seven fifty, and it's in the upper portion. The that's lower portion, the premium portion, is a little bit more money, um, and we don't do a monthly rate in the premium portion because anybody who camps in the lower portion just loves this campground. The, our premium portion is just old school camping. Each site has usually a quarter to a, to a full acre of land where you camp. Yeah. Well, and the other piece about the, um, if we had monthlies at the bottom, we'd never let anyone else, no one else would ever get a chance to, to camp in the premium section. Exactly. So that's, and we want everyone to experience that, even if it's just once. We yes. want people to have that experience. And as a matter of fact, um, th we have about a dozen people that are coming into winter with us this winter. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a, you know, a small group of people. Um, the weather, somebody asked about the weather here. They're mild winters, but remember, we sit on the top of a mountain at 1,470 feet on the top of the Sand Mountains in, in northern Alabama, so it can get cold. It never stays there long, and it can snow and some ice storms. Um, the ice storms are absolutely gorgeous when they do happen. Um, last year, I think I remember it dropping down to about 17 degrees at one time, but it never stays below zero for very long. It bounces right back up. We had no threats of uh, freezing. You may, if you come camp here at Thunder Canyon, you may want to bring a heated hose to make sure that, you know, for those few hours where it does drop down in the middle of the night, that you're protected. Um, and, uh, oh, on the monthlies, on the monthlies, it does not include electricity, guys. So you're yeah. going to be paying your monthly plus your electric bill. We don't mark it up. You just, you pay the meter. The meter yeah. they, you, you pay what they charge us. But, uh, oh, the only complaint I have is the Red Sox. Um, go <laughs> Yankees. Uh, but otherwise, like-minded. You know what? We actually have a couple Bostonians here right now. and um, We do. We have on site four, we've got some Bostonians that came in last night. They're, they're on their way to Florida. they're funny. Don't no one understand what they're saying. It's 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 insane. And, and people think that I don't like being called a Yankee um, is because I'm from the Northeast. It has nothing to do with that. When I was a kid, they raised you to hate the New York Yankees. They raised you to hate the Yankees. I think they did the same thing with the New York. They hate Boston. And that's why I don't like being called a Yankee because I'm not a Yankee. I am not a Yankee fan. That's that's why I think that always frustrates me when somebody calls me a Yankee. I am from the New York Northeast, but I'm not a Yankee. I'm a Patriot. Yeah. I grew up in Plymouth, Massachusetts. I was born in in, in South Boston, where and, this stuff hit the fan, and we took back this country. And he likes, and he likes we to created throw tea. a democratic Roman. <laughs> and he likes to throw tea in the harbor. In the harbor. So yeah, let's see. We have stayed twice this year. We've never stayed at a campground before. Where we felt so safe. Mm. Yeah, you're safe in here, guys. Well, we we got yeah. we got deep security. And God help anybody that comes in here to get us because. I know. We're all patriots in here, man. You, you, you're not going to get out. You're not going to make it out. <laughs> Ain't nobody going to be stealing your, your lawn chairs no, here. We're surrounded by people that practice yeah. 2A. So, oh, all right, I'm stopping. Yeah.
YouTube's going to crush look at it this, again. Look at this. Look at this beautiful chicken. Oh, my God. Can you get that thing out of my face, please? What do you think, guys? Nobody ever commented about putting about putting the chicken on your shoulder. <laughs> I'm kind of disappointed, guys, that you haven't asked me to put this chicken on the shoulder. Yeah, well, they know this chicken's going to go flying if you do that. You're not going to do that to I'm the so chicken. Supposed. Trump is not supporting America. All right, so. So let's. uh <laughs> So um, uh, we don't want to get political and we're not going to take any sides, but we're going to tell you that that um, you need to vote. America's in trouble and you need to vote. You better vote. Just vote. Yep. Oh, how's Skippy doing? Skippy um, is doing really better. good. He, I mean, they gave him drugs and, and they, they gave him drugs. Him spa treatment. They charged us 700 bucks. They gave him a massage, some other type of laser treatment. And he was walking around fine. We thought he had a stroke. Both Mercedes and I were in tears that morning. Oh yeah. Um, and just magically, they called us the next morning and said, "Come get him. He's fine." They never, they never diagnosed him. They never said what was wrong with him. It's kind of frustrating. But yeah. they gave us a bill for seven hundred dollars and told us we could bring him back for more massages and laser treatments. It sounds more like a spa to me. Yeah. But some RV Odd Squad members think that Skippy might have eaten uh, some type of a uh, a mushroom. Or maybe oh. he ate something that really made him sick or some food. Because remember, now that we have the chickens, we, don't, eat the chicken we don't throw anything away. So like you know, nothing the goes scraps. into the, the, the scraps go out to the chickens and Skippy's a scrapper. He goes out looking for them. So. Hey, um, there was a question about uh, amenities close by. This is Nick Montero. This is my nephew up yeah. in Wayham, Massachusetts. Yes, Actually, put the chicken in, on his shoulder. No, well, he's family. Don't do the it. Family don't do it. That. that chicken poops on me. It's over. Look, it is over. Look at this beautiful face. No, listen, somebody <laughs> was asking about um, uh, uh, things to see nearby. You wouldn't know this, but there are so many like state parks. Um, Thank you, Michael. Nearby. There's a lot of really, really pretty things in this area. DeSoto, um, Ruby Falls, Cathedral Caverns. So when you come in here, we actually give you a list of some of those uh, sites nearby. Um, and we have them organized by distance. So we'll show you the things that are the closest and the things that are the furthest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what's funny, it, it, well, actually, it's kind of sad. We've been here 16 months now since we landed in Thunder Canyon, and we have not seen any of the sites around Thunder Canyon because we work here all day long. Yeah. From from sunrise to sunset and deep into the night, Mercedes and I are at work trying to build something that we think God wants us to build. Oh, I was told not to put a, a chicken on that awesome shirt. <laughs> <laughs> That's Biv. Yeah. It's Vivian, and Sage calls her Biv. And she sends shirts and she custom makes them, you guys. These are all custom made shirts that are in our store. Um, Biv made this shirt for me. And thank you, Biv, for telling Mercedes not to put that chicken on my. Yeah, they don't want. Because they, they will poop. The, the second she puts it on my shoulder, it's going to poop. That's Thank you, that's Debbie. A true, that's a true statement. Thank you, David. Appreciate that. See? Yeah. Wow, I'm kind Love of surprised. Love the chicken style. Guys, I don't appreciate you taking his side on this one. You know, <laughs> I, I, I I like it when you guys encourage me to torture him. You That's true. Him. My my dad used to say that all the time, Mobile Tech. That's funny. Ken P. Were you going to show yeah, something? Yeah, Ken was another guy that suggested it might be a frog at Skippy 8, but he's doing great. He's sitting here with us right yeah. now. Do you want to say hi? Hey, Mom. Yeah. Catch a lady an egg. Catch a lady an egg. Catch All right, we'll get the egg when we're finished. So, good? good job. So girl. do you guys have any questions about our membership? We are about to spend the day quietly as a family. Oh, look at the last comment. Put the chicken on the hat. Yes. <laughs> Can you do this one real quick? All right. John, do it right. for the membership. Right, do it for ready? the membership. Are you going to do it on the top? Or yeah, do it for right the membership. There? If I'm, he flies off, honey. I'm not letting him go. If he, if he look poops, at that. Look at that. Look let go. That let go of him. No, Have, but he'll fall. Then, then you got to let him go. But what if he jumps? I'm going to move. No, don't you dare move. <laughs> look, he's staying Pick him up. Pick him up. Pick him up. Oh, he likes he likes it on the hat. Okay. He's saying, let me go back on the hat. He was more calm on the hat than he is. So we do not have tent sites. We will have tent and car sites in the spring. We don't have them. We have 52 full service sites here at Thunder Canyon. Um, and you can go to the website right here. If you go to the website, you can look at um, the different rates for the different for the different uh, places to park. We get all different lengths. You got the premium section, which is the section right next to the gorge in Thunder Canyon, and then you've got the upper section, 
for when we do events. It's overflow. There's 32 sites that are kind of the way most campgrounds are now, um, which is they're fairly close to each other, but it's an overflow. Can you put them back in this house? Right, Let's see. Still asking about the waiver, put them away slowly. Put them away slowly. and it does it need to be signed prior to review. No, we we you we Andrew, give you a copy. Here. We give you a copy as soon as you get here. We have you initial it, sign it, yeah, and then you're good to go. And you only need to sign it once. We've got one member, Bill, is working on doing this digitally. Yeah, that's so gonna be good. Yeah, we're hoping to automate the entire process. And I believe this membership is going to hit a thousand this year with your help, you yeah. guys. We can hit a thousand, um, and I also believe that we're going to hit five thousand by next year. Yeah. I think once people see the value, um, our founders are super excited because we're doing some things here at Thunder Canyon where they're going to own some of it and maybe possibly come and um, you know own a piece of it. But these are the things we only talk to our founders about. We do we do very private meetings with them. We do what is it called a podcast for yeah. those guys. Those are, so we try to give as much value as we can to those who support us. And and uh, we are so grateful that you, we've gotten your support. Oh, I like this one. Thunder Canyon for the people. Tommy, you've kind of you've kind of chimed in a lot this, but <laughs> but uh, but pretty cool. Oh, question about ADA friendly sites. Um, we're not quite there yet, yeah, guys. We're, um, we're trying to be. But the reality is that. Um, this, you know, we have some really old infrastructure. Old infrastructure. This campground was built in the 1940s and 50s, 60s. It was updated, and then we just built a new section on the top. Um, and we just opened a year ago, so we're not quite there yet. We do have some sites that are more friendly than others, but we still, but not very many. Yeah. And then Bob and Tam's Excellent Adventure. Shout out to them. They're amazing people, and they saved us when we uh, lost our brakes on Route 66. <laughs> um, and we were in a town where we knew no one. We had no mechanic or nothing, and he just uh, – if, if we if we sit here, sat, we could sit here for hours and tell you the stories of RV Odd Squad mem members helping RV Odd Squad members all over the country. Or helping us. People he meet here, us. and then all of a sudden, you guys are best friends. It's yeah. like – like-minded people come together and we all get along. We all want to help, you know, and it's just a, it's a very special place. There's a brand new thing now called um, uh, Thunder Canyon withdrawal symptoms, TCWS. Yeah. This is what they're calling it. People will come in for two weeks or a month, extend, and then really miss this place. It's almost like a retreat yeah. when you come to Thunder Canyon. It really is a relaxing place. And we ask that you leave your problems at the gate up at yeah. Reflection Pond. We're getting ready to build a chapel. We're going to be talking about that in, the, in our future videos. And um, let's see, Janice Hubble, I used to live in Duxbury. I grew up in Duxbury Beach. My, I had a rich uncle, that uh, the Kerrigans, that uh, had acres of, of land in Duxbury Beach. They call it the Irish Riviera. Okay, so this is what all Bostonians do, okay? They... <laughs> Start listing everyone that they know until they find someone in common. So they'll be like, <laughs> you know, Miss Smith over on First Street? Nah, but you know, um, my third grade teacher. And they'll talk about their uncle's mother's brother's cousin until they find That's a not connection true. of someone that they know. But they will eventually find it. They will eventually find someone in common that they both know. Yes, you can get a regular site for your camper car. Yes, we don't have we don't have restriction on old campers, guys. We just we just. Yeah. We want everybody, you just got to be kind, yeah. considerate, be friendly and helpful to other people. That's it. That's what you need to be to be an RP Hot Squad member. And then really good question. The marriage, uh, the marriage. There's sorry. a Southie girl from Donna Barnes. She's a Southie girl. Uh oh, uh -oh. sorry. <laughs> you you got to come visit. Donna Barnes. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, okay. So the membership starts whenever you purchase it. So like if, if you do, you know, October 28th to October 28th, that's how it goes. It's not like a. Uh, January 1st. Yeah. Kind of yeah. And I'd say we probably have between anywhere from 30 to 60 people on a regular basis for the past couple of months. Thunder Canyon's gorgeous in the fall, you guys. Yeah. And it's just, I don't know. It's just, we're, we're very blessed to have this place. We're hoping that as many of you can, will join the membership. Um, even if you're not going to come support us, yeah. you know, uh, all the money we get from the membership goes right back into the membership. We're looking at more campgrounds. Mm -hmm. And again, when we find those, we're looking at one in Florida right now. Um, and we will not be saying this publicly. We're going to be going and having private meetings with, with our, our founders people, yeah. and raising money there. There's, there's, we got plenty of money and some incredible talent that are helping us build this. And oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, Renee has the comment about she was able to get 
just find um, service dogs. If you have a service dog, put the patch on them so we know because you yeah, can't just, have the, the dog inside the building. People complain, their... guys. People are still people, you know. Well, um, and they want their dogs inside. Yes, They're every like, dog has to come in. Right. Inside? And, and so if you have a service dog, just make sure that has the patch and the service dog will be fine. Yeah, yeah. And then we had a, a lot of uh, questions. We'll be setting up tents in the spring. We'll have some site, some tent sites in the spring. And guys, we got so much beautiful space to uh, expand into here at Thunder Canyon. Remember, we've only been here 16 months, and we've come so far, so fast. This place was a mess when we got here. Yep. And um, it's come a long way in a, in a short period of time. Are the clouds? No. First question, uh, weather, late March, early April. Spring it, and fall are amazing. Spring and fall are amazing. Spring is just water like you wouldn't believe. Fall is gorgeous, but this is the dry time of year. Um, uh, Northern Alabama is suffering one of, one of its worst droughts, a lot like the rest of the country. We're going through a drought that they haven't seen here in, in, in ever. Yeah. And, um, and so the creeks are a little quiet, but the first year we were here, the creeks were raging. That's why they call it Thunder Canyon. You hear that noise coming up out of the gorge of that, the waterfalls and that water. And it's, it's mostly all runoff and spring mountain spring water. So it's beautiful, beautiful water. And then we had a good question about uh, Mike's pastries or modern pastry. We, John has only uh, brought me <laughs> I'm a Mike's. Mike's. I'm a Mike's. I'm a Mike's. He's only brought me there. So Mike's that's... pastries. But I brought you to some Italian restaurants in the oh, North well, End. The North End is, guys, um, when Merce, I used to take Mercedes back to Boston every year for the first seven or eight years we were together. And we'd go into Boston and we would both put on 12 to 18 pounds. Yeah. And Mike's lose. was one of the ones that gave us a few pounds. You lose weight for the trip and then you gain it when you're there. How's the Wi-Fi? Our Wi-Fi is awesome. Our yeah. Wi-Fi is really good. Well, I think we've got the best Wi-Fi in any campground in the country. Mark's been working on that. Um, Charlie's been working on that. Again, most of our members have done the improvements, you guys. Again, we don't have any employees. So people that have like Bill and Regina, Bill comes in here with the – with. Uh, electrical experience we got plumbers coming here with plumber yeah, and they come in yeah. and they they stay with us and then no. they help yep. exactly and they help us grow something really special there's something really special going on here and you guys just gotta come feel and see what it's like yeah that's funny um <laughs> Bad news, I didn't win the Powerball, so I can't quit for it tomorrow. <laughs> well, maybe the next day. Maybe Maybe you'll... you can come soon, Jeff. Yep. And then question, are y'all missing Florida? Yes. We will be missing Florida in God. two months from now. <laughs> yeah, we used to spend, I mean, we... we uh, we'll be missing it a lot in two months from we now. We were chasing sure. 70s in the RV. Um, yeah. And Mercedes and I spent most, we spent seven years in Florida in the wintertime. And we miss it. Yep, I'm not yeah. much of a Florida guy, you know, cold. Cold makes you feel older quicker. That's funny, but I also think it. Uh, I also think it um, gives you a certain amount of uh, uh, the seasonality is kind of nice too. Yeah, yeah. So oh, again, no. can you guys give us a thumbs up? Yep. Give it us a thumbs up. Leave a comment in this video. It'll help the YouTube algorithm get more of it out to other people. Um, and one of the things we do love about the YouTube algorithm is we end up attracting a lot of people that are just like us. So sorry, guys, if this video was put in front of you, you're probably a little odd yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, we're very clear about our beliefs, what we believe in, what we want for our future, for our children. Um, and we're not afraid to say it on YouTube. We're probably the only YouTube channel in the RV space that will tell you exactly what we think. We're not afraid to say that. And what's happened is, is our, 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 our subscribers have slowed down and started to shrink now, but our membership has exploded. It's I a mean, weird thing. It's like we're getting more focused. Yes, we're yeah. getting more focused and we don't want certain people to be a member, to be part of what we're trying well, to do because we don't line up. I, and it's not a, a political line. It's nope. more a entitlement line. Yeah. All right. But that was enough. That was enough of a... <laughs> so do you, any of you have any questions on the membership? It looks like a, a, quite a few of you have already started to join. Thank you. We're getting the notifications coming in. This is what we were hoping. It's kind of weird that we hadn't done this in a while. We just trusted that God was going to bring the right people on at the right time. But we're at a time now where winter's here. It's going to slow down for a little bit. And we're, we're lining up for next spring and some really big Palooza events in the spring summer and fall next year as you guys know we had a, a fourth of july opening where we packed this place we packed this place and everything worked it was amazing we danced we ate we prayed we, it was amazing and next year we're going to have hopefully three or four events just like that only members can come to our events yep 
Awesome. So I think we're good to go. Is there anything else you can think of, sweetheart? Nothing else I can think of. Awesome. So we love you guys. Thank you for your support. And it's going to be fun to see where we go next. Um, but I do know and believe in my heart that the larger our group gets, the more power we have. Think about the things we can do together. Think about the things we can do together. This has never been about money for Mercedes and I. We're blessed. We have everything we need. We want a legacy. We want to leave something special behind for our children and our grandchildren, mainly for Sage. And we also believe that you guys have helped heal Sage. She is in school. She's writing. She's reading. She's amazing. We credit you guys for the prayers, the love, and yes, Mark Irwin, Camp Gratitude. That's what we called this place when we first started. It was Camp Gratitude. My heart was overjoyed with the things that were happening at the time when I first found this place. Yep. And it's just getting better and better and better as we bring in the right people. Um, God sends everybody at the right time, at the exact right time for us to go to the next level. So. Hopefully with your help, we can get to the next level. We'll see you in the next video, guys. We love you. Thank you so much for see all your guys. support. Bye. See you later. And, and Millie Stewart, the next Founders meeting is next Friday. See you then. Bye. Amen. Amen. Good night, guys.